What's up guys, welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be going over product pages. Product pages are arguably the most important part of your store because essentially it's the first time a customer um, is introduced to you and your brand. So if you don't do them very well, then you're not going to succeed. It doesn't matter if your Facebook ads can drive 10 million people to your store for the cost of 10 pounds. If you've got a crappy product page, you're not going to be making any money. So in this video then, I've got a few different product pages to go over. Um, for example, this one, this one, and this one and we're just going to be going through the kind of things that they do well the kind of things that they don't do so well and then at the end of the video i've just got three really quick and easy tips things that you can implement into your own product pages just to help increase your conversion rate so with that being said then make sure you stay tuned any questions at all do um comment them down below i read every single one by the way so if there is something you want to ask me i will respond to you um let me know if you enjoyed the video too by hitting that like button and finally please do make sure you subscribe to my channel as well so that being said then let's jump straight into the first product page which is from shop omnia so if you don't know um this is essentially the Shopify store I started um, four years ago now. It's my very first Shopify store and the product pages have kind of developed over the years. So I can, what I'm going to do in fact is I'm going to show you this one which is kind of like how the debut theme would look as standard and then this is essentially what it developed into and as you can see there's a huge huge difference so we're just going to be going over the differences um what i've done why i've done it and essentially um why it works as well so looking at these two product pages then side by side we can see the one on the left just looks so much more brighter so much more professional and just easier on the eye which is an important thing it's the tiny little kind of design features that add up to make a web page look so much more inviting versus just a standard layout so this one on the right is from debut this one on the left is from debut but i've just made a few certain changes number one being the free shipping bar at the top in the light blue which is a significant color on the page which is going to draw the customer's attention and you want to be drawing your customer's attention to something positive and as it says there it's free shipping on all orders which is going to be a benefit in your customer's mind if we look at the other significant colors on the page except for the actual product images obviously we have the sale price in orange versus is just kind of like the standard dull blue on the right it doesn't really stand out at all but on this because it is a unique color on the page again it it draws your customers attention to it and when they see that this product is on offer then again it's another benefit it's another positive in the customer's mind the next unique color on the page is obviously the stars from the review app which are in yellow so they're bright they're easy to see and naturally your customer's attention is going to be going towards them because it's a unique color on the page and they stand out the biggest obstacle you will have to overcome as a new business is people trusting you so the more social proof the more reviews the more everything you can get on your store to make it look more trustworthy professional and legit then it's, it will make a huge difference versus this product page on the right which has no reviews or nothing um, trust me it will make a huge 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 difference moving down is obviously the add to cart button now I have tested so many different colors of add to cart buttons and what I've worked out then is that it has to be a unique color on the page and trust me it sounds stupid but it makes a difference simply changing the color of your add to cart button will make a difference to how many people actually click it if we move down the page then we have more unique colors and we have more benefits for the customer so this is a product i do source in bulk so i want to advertise the fact that people can get their hands on this product really quickly so in stock in bold green letters free uk delivery two to three days via royal mail so i'm dropping royal mail's name there because i focus on the uk market and everybody in the UK knows who Royal Mail is so they can relate to it. Again, it sounds so stupid, but if you can get people to relate and feel comfortable because you're mentioning brands and delivery companies they've heard of, then naturally they're gonna feel more comfortable shopping with you and they're gonna trust you more. This next section as well is actually one of the three tips I'm gonna give you at the end, which is embed positive comments to your product pages. Um, so what I've done here then is taken a snapshot of three different comments from the ad and embedded it on my product page. Now, the reason this works so well, um, and trust me, this will increase your conversion rate overnight. And the reason it does then is because people can actually, so just to give you an illustration, there's some reviews at the bottom here, but these could be fake, these could be made up, the customer won't know. Whereas with these, because they actually link to the posts, people can actually click on these people's profiles, they can see if they did actually legit leave this review you and it's just instant social proof it's instant trust for you and your website and it will completely change how many people feel more comfortable um, actually buying your product moving further down the product page then into the actual product description um, now there is an actual strategy behind why it's worded like this and why you have kind of like the hook I call it the hook at the top of the page um, and essentially what it does is it gets the 
the visitor interested and it gets them engaging and actually thinking about the product and whether it would be good for them or not. So essentially the way it works is you kind of paint a picture of what the problem is or what the difficulty is and then you give them the solution. So if you walk your dog at dusk then this collar is a must. So the problem is walking your dog at dusk because obviously you can't see your dog and then this collar is the solution. So keep them safe and in sight with this LED dog collar. And then there's kind of like a little story that people that most people who have dogs especially if they work a nine to five and when they get home from work it's already dark they have to walk their dog then this is definitely something they can relate to it's all about putting kind of creating a situation that people can relate to and then the only solution is to buy your product and to kind of build that picture that customers can relate to then tell a short little story now it only has to be like three and a half lines as you can see here if you're going to write pages and pages people will lose disinterest or they'll get distracted and they'll just leave your product page so two to three sentences max taking your dog out for a walk in low light can be difficult and even dangerous which is absolutely 100 percent true that people can relate to once you let them off the lead it's pretty hard to spot them in the dark this color with a built-in LED light will solve that problem. So you've created the problem or you've highlighted exactly what the problem is and then you've also highlighted the solution straight away. I then go on to present kind of like the information that every product needs to contain which is just a different design of features and it's just displayed in a really easy um, way to kind of consume the information. Just bullet pointed, really easy to go through. One thing I do want to point out though is the fact that I've put the size guide in the images and there's a note there and the reason being then is because most of the traffic would come from mobile. So so people didn't have to essentially scroll to the bottom to look at the size guide then scroll back and to cart which is added time added faff and hassle um, i put the size guide in the image images because what would happen is people would read that they would come up to look at the size guide um, and then essentially everything they need to do to make a purchase is right there in front of them they know exactly what size um, for what breed they know what the price is they can select the size and color and they can add it straight to the cart from there it's all on one page the other thing i did as well so that people People can just make a purchase right there and then is I've made the size guide super easy to decide what um, size of collar you need not everybody or most people probably won't know what the dimensions of their dog's neck is so as you can see I've categorized it to the breed of dog so because if you if people have to leave their mobile phone, go and find a tape and measure their dog's neck and then come back, people aren't gonna come back, it's just not gonna happen. So you need to make it as easy and fast as possible for your customer just to make a purchase uh, there and then. Trust me, all these little things add up just to, if you can take like two to three seconds off the time it takes to make a purchase on your store, it will increase your conversion rate dramatically. Just to finish off then, the kind of final couple of features, number one is there's a guarantee, doesn't fit, no problem, return to us within 30 days and then obviously we have our trust badges and reviews. Now this is the basic review app from Shopify, um, I don't use this anymore myself. Just to make a quick comparison between on the left and on the right, on the left looks so much better, even though it's the same information, the same layout, everything, simply by changing the colours um, and changing the fonts of certain things can make all the difference between how easy it is on somebody's eyes. So make sure that once you've put your description is, have a play around with fonts, Google what are easy fonts to read, play around with the different colors and just make sure it looks presentable and decent. Don't just go with the basic images because if you look on the right, it just looks bland, it looks boring and it doesn't look very professional either. Moving on to some other product pages then. Number one is highgoshop.com. Um, these guys are doing really well. They get really good results. It's a general store and it is a drop shipping store too. Just to prove it, we can have a look and see that these guys are doing consistently over 150K visits per month. Um, so obviously they're driving a decent amount of sales with that sort of traffic. And in terms of the similarities then between this and the product pages I've just shown you, number one is the buy it now button. As you can see, the add to cart button is a unique color on the screen. There's nothing else on this screen that is green. So naturally it's going to draw people's attention to it, which in turn is going to increase how many people actually click it. Number two is the discounted prices for buying in bulk. This is a great feature to have. However, don't put it on every single product page. Um, only have it on products which people are more likely to buy more than one of. So for example, then somebody buying this chances are they have a friend that would also um, benefit from it so they might buy two three or four of these you never know the next feature is the fact that these guys have embedded a video into the product description probably because a product like this is to demonstrate it's actually what it does or how easier it can make somebody's um, life um, sometimes things are just easier to demonstrate in a video so if that is the case with your products then definitely implement something similar to this and then the next point is again they've just used pure black fonts 
Um, they've got headlines which are in bold and then everything else is just bullet pointed. You don't have to go crazy or do anything um, mega scientific or weird. It's just simple, basic, easy to read, easy on the eye, often works the best. They also have their trust badges at the bottom which you can see. They also have this um, time, timer, this counter, sorry, which tells you how many people are currently looking at this product. If you want to install any of these two features, by the way, you can get a certain apps on the app store that do this. Um, they also have the frequently bought together app. Now I used to use these, but what I've found, I've not found one yet that displays that well and looks that good on a mobile device. So I tend not to use them. However, a product like this kind of does lend itself towards all of these products buying in one bulk. So it kind of works quite well. They also have customers who bought this item also bought, which again is another great feature if you ask me. Um, and then of course they have their reviews app. Now this looks like looks, it looks like they've imported these from AliExpress, but it's just a really good social proof because it comes with images too, then it makes it look more legit, more trustworthy, and therefore it's gonna increase to their conversion rate. Moving on to shoppingnetwork.com. Again, this is another dropship in general store that does really well, gets really good results. Um, now these guys get really good results, but if you ask me, their product pages aren't up to scratch. They could definitely be improved. Um, for start, I think this looks a bit spammy. Um, again, though, they've implemented that same strategy that if you look at this green color, there's nowhere else on this page that has this green color. So it's naturally going to draw people's attention to it and they're naturally going to click it or more likely to click it. So if this is something you haven't done in your store, definitely play around with the color of your add to cart button. The next thing they have as well, which we haven't seen yet, is a dynamic checkout button. I recommend everybody. Um, have one of these on their product page and if you can't at least advertise the fact that you accept Google Pay and PayPal because people see these as safe ways to check out. So if you have this on their product page and make sure your customer has seen this, again, it's just gonna increase the likelihood that they feel comfortable spending their money with you. If we scroll down then to have a look at their product description, we can see they it's a similar fashion to the previous pages we've looked at. They've got bullet pointed information and then they've got the key information like the titles in bold. They also have a sticky add to cart button so no matter where somebody is on the page, they can add this product straight to cart. It is a unique color on the page too, so it's gonna draw people's attention to it naturally. Um, and then to finish off, they have the same two apps installed. So they have frequently bought together and they have products similar to this item. And with that being said then guys, to quickly recap on the different kind of things I've touched on in this video is number one is build trust. This is the most important thing you must do if you're gonna find some success with Shopify. Um, so a few ways to do this is you can have a, re a review app like looks, you can embed Facebook comments, you can have trust badges, have contact information, offer a guarantee, have dynamic checkout buttons, Button. If you can't get a time dynamic checkout button due, um, I can't talk right now, due to the theme that you're using, uh, then make sure you have a PayPal trust badge. Make sure your customers know that you offer PayPal. Even to this day, 60% of my orders can come through PayPal. Number two is simple product descriptions. Keep it easy to read, so bullet pointed info. Have a hook at the top, so create that picture um, or that kind of situation that people are currently experiencing which makes their life a bit more difficult and then offer the solution which is your product and demonstrate how it can improve somebody's life, how it can solve that problem um, and how it can be a good thing if they buy it. As I've just mentioned, have product demonstrations in a video if needs be. Um, and then just keep things simple with a black font um, and an easy layout. And then the final point then just to finish on is efficiency. Make it quick and easy as possible for customers to make a purchase. So as I showed you on that dog product page, all the information was in one place and they didn't have to do anything else. They could select the size, they could select the color, they could add it to cart. They had the size guide there with the different breeds, with the different dimensions. Everything was all in one place to make it as quick and easy as possible for them to make a purchase. And with all that being said then guys, I think that pretty much just wraps up the video, so I'm gonna call it there. If you're still watching, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it, by the way, um, so thank you. Please do make sure you let me know if you liked this video or not. I tend to go on how many likes a video gets, so if you want more content similar to this, uh, make sure you hit that like button. Any comments or questions or video suggestions, post them down below and I will get back to you. Um, please do make sure you subscribe as well for regular content. And apart from that, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.